we were running probably upwards of almost 40 miles an hour in some pretty decent seas that I wouldn't typically run that fast in in a boat of this size. You don't even notice it. It's like a Cadillac on the water. Hi, I'm Shane Swift. Um, I'm the service manager at Tom & Jerry's Boat Center. My name's Kelly Hawley and I'm owner of Tom & Jerry's Boat Center here in Mount Vernon, Washington, just uh, right in the San Juan Islands. So today we took the Makaira 800 Gen 3 out for a little bit of a ride and put over 100 miles out on the water on it. Today was great because we got to see uh, all around the San Juan Islands. So we have a really popular place here called uh, Deception Pass. Beautiful bridge, you go underneath, the scenery is beautiful. Winter or summer, it doesn't matter. It's just a beautiful place. A lot of people go there. It's one of the most visited places in Washington State, actually. Of course, we went up to a place that a lot of people like going in the summertime called Susha Island, which is a, it's a series of fingers of islands that you can go in, you can moor there, you can stay the night. In the summertime, they'll have a dock there. So a really neat place. It's in the upper San Juan Islands just before you get to the Canadian border. Then there's another place, Spiden Island, and lots of uh, exotic sheep and some deer there. Uh, gosh, I don't know, we saw probably 40 maybe sea lions, some out of the water, some in the water. Really fun to watch, and then some eagles, and then of course just all the game that's up on the hillside. Just beautiful to watch. Uh, very popular place as well. People like going there in the summertime and just watching the animals. One of the first things that came to mind when I when I saw it is I can't wait to get it in the water. And to my surprise, it is actually better than what I was initially thinking. It feels heavier than it really is in the water, so it's got a different feel than, I would say, most any aluminum boat that I've ever been in. It uh, just cuts the water totally different than anything that you see in the aluminum market. With the bow the way it is, with the Carolina curvature that it has to it, uh, keeps the water off the windshield. Uh, we were going through some water that typically, I would say, is fairly rough water in most boats. This road, like no boat I've ever been in, fiberglass or aluminum, especially aluminum, it's just far exceeds my expectations on how it should perform. We were running probably upwards of almost 40 miles an hour in some pretty decent seas that I wouldn't typically run that fast in in a boat of this size. Um, and you don't even notice it. It's, it's like a Cadillac on the water. The difference between the Makaira boats and the other boats that we have here are other than being aluminum boats which they have in common the design of them is totally different this one is made to handle the bigger rougher water the others say they are and they're great boats but if you want that extra you want that extra ride that extra toughness the 5 16 inch bottom and the performance that you get out of it the Makaira hands down is, is a far superior boat than the other ones and we handle some really nice boats but they don't compare to this boat.